The main thing to think about with ICL insertion is looking at the leading haptics. Once they've opened in the right orientation, you know you've made it and you can commit to the rest of the insertion. So I don't think the ICL ever needs to flip upside down because you can always use that as a marker. So here it looks like it's a little bit askew, but by rotating the injector, you can see how much it's rotated there, we get that right orientation for the leading haptics and then you can commit to the rest of the insertion. But to prove that that's a pretty effective measure if it's gonna open the right orientation, here's another example where you know, it looks pretty good, but that one haptic isn't quite cooperating, but you know it's enough that it's not gonna flip upside down. This situation is easily salvageable with a little bit of OVD in the right area. That material is so flexible, all it takes is a gentle nudge. There's times though when to avoid a flip, it's better just to stop and reload. So here's an example where this doesn't look good. It, both haptics are not in the right orientation. You can see how much the injector is rotated and that's not working. So just pull the whole thing out, reload and try again. So you can't always pull it out using the injector. So here's another one. You can just see the leading haptics. That's not gonna work. You know that's not gonna open in the right orientation. It's actually quite likely to go upside down. You can see the injector. We've tried rotating our hand so much and that's not working either. So we're just gonna give up. What happens here is, you know, sometimes it gets stuck, but that's okay. We'll just use a pair of you know, gentle forceps, remove the ICL and just try again with no problem. I really think it's faster just to reload and try again rather than to explant. So here's the same ICL that was just pulled out with the forceps opening, no problem. And then here is just one more video of what a really nice insertion looks like. So again, here we're watching the leading haptics, they open perfectly, just commit to it. You know, you might have to go slow at first to be watching for those haptics, but I don't think they ever need to flip.